I did a couple of films with the Coen brothers. And I was a big admirer. Never, of, never heard of them. <laughs> Go ahead. A uh, big admirer of their work. And I kind of wanted to learn what I could from them because I had a project I had written and I wanted to direct it myself and so on. I just want to see how they got these great, you know, results. Um, so uh, I, I, I observed what they were doing, but I was talking to Ethan Cohn and I said, you know, you have this film that I just, I think it's a wonderful film. It's called The Man Who Wasn't There, but it, it never got the attention that I thought it should get. I thought it was, I think it's one of your best films, but it happened to have come out right around 9-11 kind of obscured by 9-11 as, you know, understandably. But I just love it as a film. It's so beautifully constructed. The writing is great. The performances are great. And it's shot in black and white. It's beautiful looking. Anyway, I said, this. I just love that film. And he said to me, oh, you know, Billy, uh, Billy Bob Thornton still lead it. He said, Billy Bob's wig never fit right. And we had to give up uh, a location that we loved. And we couldn't make a deal with, you know. He, he recited to me every problem in the making of that movie. And then I realized that for them, when they're writing it, they're writer directors. So they sit in this little room that they have, this little, this little office that they have, and they kind of brainstorm back and forth and they act out the parts. They actually act out the parts as they're writing them. And they imagine everything. And that's kind of the most enjoyable part for them. And then when they start directing, they do like actors but it's a series of problems to be solved, essentially. Uh, that's the way directing is. I, will, I, I know I'm, I'm yapping and yapping. I'll tell you, tell you, there's one more story I want to tell you about directing. This is my favorite story about directing. Yeah, go ahead. This was told to me by um, uh, 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 a director called James Gray, very interesting uh, Russian-American director. Um, so when they were making The Godfather, if you remember The Godfather, the actor that Francis had hired uh, to play Luca Brazzi um, was an actor called Lenny Montana. Actually not an actor, he was a professional wrestler with very limited acting experience. But he looked great, as you remember from the movie. Mm -hmm. He was very imposing looking. And because he had been a wrestler, he had a skill, which was he had the capacity to make his eyes bug out. He, could, he just had this disability. And if you remember in the movie, he's garroted. He, he pretends to be a turncoat and goes to the Tatalia family to talk to them. And he goes to a bar and they stick a knife through his hands and, and they garrot him with a, a wire and they choke him. And you could see his eyes kind of pop out. So Francis loved the fact that he had this ability. And he certainly looked the part, but he was very uncomfortable with lines. So the very first day that they're shooting the movie was the day was the first scene in the movie at the big wedding, the big wedding scene of, uh, of uh, Francis Coppola's daughter, Talia Shire's daughter. I mean, Talia Shire. Mm -hmm. So in that scene, in that series of scenes, there's supposed to be a place where Luca Brazzi comes in and says, I want to thank you, Godfather, for the honor of inviting me into your home on the day of your daughter's wedding. And he's supposed to deliver this line. But Lenny Montana was extremely nervous and was the very first scene they were shooting. And it was very expensive. There were hundreds of extras and big first day. And Lenny Montana could not get this line right. He was totally nervous. He was sweating. And he kept saying, I, I want to thank you, Godfather, for the honor of inviting me to your daughter's wedding on the day of your daughter's wedding couldn't get the line right. They, they, <laughs> shot, they shot it 40 times. He could not get it right. And finally, Francis said, I got it. It's fine. And Robert Evans, the producer, said, what do you mean you got it? He never said it. And Francis said, no, no, it's fine. I have it. I have it. And Robert Evans said, he didn't say the line. What are you going to do? He didn't say the line. Francis said, I have an idea. Before the next setup, Francis made up a scene with Lenny Montana sitting at a table practicing the line. And you see him sitting, practicing the line, going, I want to thank you, Godfather, for the honor of inviting me to your daughter's wedding. And you see children run by. Francis, on the fly, invented that scene, put it in the movie. And then when you see Lenny Montana blow the line in the actual take, it makes perfect sense. Genius. I tell this story because directing movies is all about 
wild horses, it always gets away from you. Mm -hmm. That's the nature of it. You know, there's so many people, there's so many variables. So it's a lot about riding all these wild horses and keeping them in a, not a paddock, but I don't know, in some kind of, some kind of, a, some kind of a organization. <laughs> 